Hello, it's Helen from Journal with Purpose and welcome to my Plan With Me video for June. I'm just coming to the end of this bullet journal and I don't have many pages left. So I'll be starting a brand new journal for June. And as usual, I'm going to be using a Rodier Gold Book with dotted paper. I checked back through my other bullet journals and realised that this is going to be my ninth one and that staggers me. I hadn't realised I'd been doing it for quite so long. So I'm using a Tombow Fudonosuke brush pen with a firm nib just to write volume nine on the inside page. I love using the Rodia Gold Book because the paper quality is so lovely. We've got lots of contents pages, a future log already in there and extra space for calendars if you need it. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is creating my cover page for the new month. And I'm using a Staedtler pigment liner with a 0.1 nib. For this month's cover page, I decided to go for some poppies. So I've just loosely sketched those out and then adding some detail onto the petals. And I know that I'll be adding some watercolour pencils and water for the final part. And that's one of the reasons I really like this pen because it's great for writing. And I also know that none of the ink will smudge when I add water over the top. By the time I finished sketching these out, I'm really happy with how they're looking, but I decided to try something a bit different this month. And I've been watching Shader Campbell on YouTube, who I will link down below. And I love how her pages look when she does a kind of Dutch door, but she cuts out around the design. So I'm going to try that same process on these pages, but I'm not quite sure if I'm happy with it. I don't know if it was that pressure of the first new page and a new journal and I really wanted it to look the best it possibly could. But I'm still happy that I will have tried out something different and it's something I may well do again, but just perhaps slightly adapt how I do it. One of the things I love about bullet journaling is the space and freedom to get creative if you want to. Because there's no pre-planned pages, it means that you can just add different bits and pieces. And not everything's always a success, but it's still part of the journey and shows where I've tried out new things. The quote that I picked for this month that also ended up being quite appropriate for these pages is don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant by Robert Louis Stevenson. The watercolour pencils I'm using are the floral set of the Aquablend pencils by Spectrum Noir and I'll be using the colour Strawberry. I really love using these pencils. They've got a lot of pigment in them and you'll see when I add the water that the colour will blend out a long way. And I'm just adding colour to the centre of the flowers and when I use the water, I will then blend the colour out, which means that the outside part of the petals will be slightly lighter. And I really, really liked that effect. I decided to only add colour to the flower heads, not to the stem or leaves, because I thought that was quite striking and I really liked just that combination of red and black on my page. And hopefully you can see that detailing on the flower heads. I really liked the way that the colours blended out and just left what looked like kind of creases within the petals themselves. Now this is the point where I've decided to cut along my page. I counted eight dots in and then cut around the flower heads themselves. 
and this is where I'm not really convinced that this has done much for the look of my pages. I wonder if I should have left them how they were. But I'd be really interested to hear what you think when you've seen the overall effect. I do like the fact that you can see through to the page behind, but I don't know that I handled it in quite the right way. So I started off by using the Tombow Fidonosuke to do a thin line along the edge of the page. And I've placed a piece of paper underneath it to make sure it doesn't go onto the page below. And I started off with a really thin line and didn't think that that looked right. So I then brought that black line out further onto the page. Before moving on to the next page, I decided to just add a little bit more detailing onto the leaves. On the back of the cutout page, I'm going to set out my tasks for the month ahead and also my social media tracker. And this wouldn't be enough space for all of the tasks that I need to get done. But what I like to do is look at any goals that I've set myself and write down key tasks here that I really want to focus on during the next month. Right back at the beginning of the year, I set out a vision board for the kinds of things that I'd like to achieve and be working on during 2019. So that really has guided all of my goals that I set out for each individual month. I'm now using the Fudenosuke to add some thicker black lines to tie in with the black lines that I've got on the cover page. On this page, I'm going to be setting out my June calendar and I've changed it from the last few months. I've gone back to just having it with one day per line rather than drawing out the box grid calendar that I had been doing. I find this calendar far quicker to set up and as I'm only likely to have one or two meetings or deadlines per day, I find that there's ample room there to be able to write those down. Next, I decided to add some stenciling. So I'm using a stencil from Paper Artsy and Distress Oxide ink in frayed burlap. And I thought this design looked a bit like a brick wall. So I thought it'd be fun if this showed through onto the front page as if the flowers were growing up the wall. I'm now going to letter in the word June. And at the beginning of a new notebook, I find that I struggle a little bit right on the edge of a page. So I'm just putting another notebook next to it so that my hand can still lie flat. I'm filling in the letters with the same black pen to again try and tie in with the boldness of the black along the front of the cover page and on the dividers of this page too. I decided to use a few stickers for decoration, which was quite handy because I managed to get some ink on my pages, so it's covered that up. And these stickers are from Notebook Therapy. I'm now adding some washi tape to the top and bottom of my pages and this roll of washi is from London Gifties. And that's how the completed cover page looks with the brickwork showing underneath. The next pages I'm setting up are for my gratitude log and my habit tracker. And I'm simply writing gratitude in the middle of the page and then adding washi either side. And this is how my gratitude log and habit tracker is looking part way through May.
I like to turn my book around for the habit tracker because it means that I can write all of the dates of the month along the top of the page. And I complete my gratitude log and my habit tracker every evening. So that's become part of my routine to sit down and make sure that I fill those out. And I usually add roughly one line to the gratitude log every day. I'm now adding that same washi tape to the bottom of this page. And this month I was lucky enough to receive these transfer stickers from Christine at London Gifties and I've had a quick play with them and I'm so happy with how they come out. The last time I tried some transfer stickers I really struggled to get them to kind of get a clean print on my page but these work really really easily and they look like they've been printed straight onto your page. It's a really nice effect. With those done, the next pages I'm working on are for my master task list. And I break this down into four different sections for work, home, creative projects and social media. And this works really, really well for me. It's where I put down all of my tasks, so kind of a brain dump, but in a more organised way, because I put it under the categories so that I can easily find the tasks that I'm looking for and I can make sure that nothing gets forgotten. I'm still using that same Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen and I'm going to add some more transfer stickers for decoration. I can definitely see these becoming a new obsession for me. They just look so nice because once you've taken that clear plastic off the top, there's no sheen at all. And this is how my task list looks part way through May. The final pages that I'm setting up are my reasons to be proud and my notes pages. And this is where I've tried to get in the habit of offering myself a little praise each evening. No matter how many things might have gone wrong, I always think there's something that I should be proud of. And it's really nice to just take a moment and record those on my journal pages. I now share a quick flip through of my pages that I've created for my June setup. Once I get closer to the time, I will then set up my weekly and daily plans. And this is how my current bullet journal is looking in May. And I will definitely film a full flip through once I've completed this journal. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, it'd be great if you'd leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Thank you ever so much for watching and I really look forward to speaking to you in the next one.